Okay, guys, so let's continue our discussion with regards to uh, the type of writing that we have already started. So, thesis, essay. The question goes like this. Some people believe that people have the right to university education and government should make it free, no matter what their financial background. To what extent do you agree or disagree? What exactly you should be uh, understanding by now is the fact that as far as your opinion is asked, you should go for thesis uh, kind of essay. Exactly here, the question is telling you that you should make your point, you should make uh, your position clear because that is important for us. Okay, so let's see what kind of model answer we are given here. It is true that some people argue for the universal right to free education. While I accept this may suit many people, I believe that it is impractical for governments to implement such a policy. So I am making my point of view completely clear here. Remember, in order to get a high bound score, not only your position has to be clearly uh, stated in your introduction, but also in the whole essay. On the one hand, it is not a practical dream to expect government authorities to fund a higher education for those poorer sections of society, with low incomes and no savings. Without such funding, people from poor backgrounds would be unable to attend university. So I am elaborating on what I have started with. So my main idea or the central focus of this body paragraph. As a result, they would be excluded from many well-paid careers as engineers, doctors, or lawyers. Since those from low-income backgrounds, beautiful phrases and topic-specific vocabulary are used. So take a look, low-income backgrounds would have no opportunity to develop their talents. The example of the U.S. during the struggle for civil rights for blacks and other minorities shows the fully of denying equal educational opportunities for the poor. So actually, in this very specific body paragraph, I was trying to elaborate on that main idea and I used different kinds of support in order to, uh, you know, I have that kind of evidence to sound logical. The next body paragraph. So, uh, on the other hand, there would be an enormous strain on government budgets if free access to university were, uh, were right for everyone. As it is simplest, people from rich families can afford to pay tuition fees and for their own maintenance during their studies. Attendance at university is a privilege, not a right. And if a student can afford to pay for their studies, they should do so. So, can you see what exactly we are developing on? We've got a main idea and we are trying in order to elaborate and develop as best as we possibly could. In practical terms, governments cannot pay for the rich as well as the poor. Governments are faced with practical decisions on how to allocate their finite budgets and finding free uh, higher education for everyone would mean less money to spend on pressing issues. It means fundamental, important, uh, such as healthcare or the environment. Very great uh, body paragraph. The only problem that I can uh, grab your attention to would be about the choice of words. Some of some words are just, you know, being repeated, like practical, for example. I don't know whether you've distinguished that or not. We've used it two or three times at least. So in order to uh, increase our chance of getting the high bound school, we should go for a wide variety of vocabulary, even if it is about a very simple uh, adjective like that. The last paragraph is our conclusion because we need to restate whatever we've already said. In other words, our introduction should be written in other words. In conclusion, I disagree with the view that free higher education should be a right for everyone in society and funding should be limited to those who otherwise could not afford to attend university. 
So not only I've uh, restated my, uh, you know, introduction, but also you can see my point of view clearly once more here. So let's see what the, uh, you know, sample three would be like. Excellent. So we've got a plenty of uh, model answers to go for. So the question would be like this. Schools should not force children to learn a foreign language. To what extent do you agree with this statement? It is true that some people argue that a foreign language should not be uh, one of the compulsory subjects studied in schools. While I believe that it is useful for school children to learn a foreign language, I completely disagree. I completely agree that they should not be forced to do so. Very beautiful. So, as a very powerful and strong introduction, you can see that not only we've got that kind of paraphrase from the statement itself, but also as a thesis led essay type, we are given the point of view of the uh, author. So, let's move on and talk about the next paragraph, which is our body one paragraph. On the one hand, Reading that will give you that kind of signal to understand that one side of the coin is going to be discussed. It will benefit the education of most children if they are encouraged to learn a foreign language during their school years. Firstly, through studying the language, they will learn about the culture of the country. And some schools even arrange exchange visits to enable students to briefly immerse themselves in the culture of the foreign country whose language they are learning excellent beautiful grammatical points and structures have been implemented here so whose language they are learning secondly children can access information in another language for example if they are studying english they can enjoy websites which are only available in english on any topic in which they are interested beautiful in which they are interested. Finally, children can be encouraged to learn a foreign language through the range of enjoyable and fun materials available nowadays, especially interactive online learning. So you can see that uh, we've chosen different kinds of points, three points I would say, and we are trying to elaborate on the points as logically as we could possibly go for. Excellent. Let's move on and talk about the next body paragraph that we are given here. On the other hand, so uh, just reading that uh, phrase will give you the hint that you are going to understand about the other side of that discussion as well. It would be uh, counterproductive to forcibly oblige school children to learn a foreign language. One reason is that children will not learn effectively through compulsion alone. They must be motivated to do so, and this is only achieved through enthusiastic teachers who select stimulating language learning activities. Another reason is that school children will be reluctant to learn a foreign language if they cannot see why it might be relevant to their present or future lives. So, see how beautifully and logically we are trying to make the point as clear as possibly we could? So, for example, individual Vietnamese pupils should not be forced to learn English if they are certain that they will never need or want to use it in the future. In conclusion, I could argue that schools should encourage but not compel children to learn a foreign language. So, you can see that in conclusion, we do not do anything special. We just try to have a kind of revision and, you know, paraphrase of the introduction, making our point clear once more. Because as a very uh, good candidate and a smart one, we need to clarify the issue uh, throughout the whole essay. So our point of view has to be stated a lot of times. So because uh, for getting a high band score, we need to make our point as clear as possible. It has to be restated many times throughout the whole essay. Okay guys, thank you for your participation and uh, watching our today's class. So I will see you very soon with a new uh, and upcoming videos. Please do not forget to smash that like button. I will really like to read your comments and 
your thoughts if you've got any. Thank you and bye-bye.